All right, yo, I'm gonna have to put this in here somewhere. I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do, but I messed up big time. I was supposed to wake up at 6.30 a.m. in the morning for my ride to the to the Vera Clinic, and I uh, I, I missed it. <laughs> I do what I could have sworn. She said 3 p.m. I'm just like, all right, dude, we have time. I'm gonna go to the Apple store. I'm gonna do all this shit. I'm not gonna go stinky to Vera Clinic, but I just wanna show you guys what my hair looks like real quick. This is what it looks like grown out. Basically a whole year from now. I tried to film this yesterday as well, but I, I couldn't do it, bro. My, my voice is pretty fucked. but this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. And uh, yeah, let's get my second hair transplant over with. I'll see you guys in a second. Puta madre, hombre. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Is it done? Yeah. Oh, it's done. All right, nice. Look up. We can go. Nice. Now, unfortunately, we have to shave your hair. Ah, uh, I okay? Oh. Are you okay with it? I mean, it works so hard for it. Works so hard for this hair, man. But you gotta go. So sad, dude. You're so happy. Don't love me. For now. Can she do the rest? Yeah, I'm gonna mess it up. Oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright guys, we uh, just shaved my head and I miss my hair already, man. It's already feeling so much colder than before, but you gotta get this done before you, you know, get the whole transplant done. If not, it's gonna look really weird. So looking forward to it, uh, but I'm not looking forward to the recovery. Let's see what's good. And uh, then this is Xanax. It is for you to be, be more revealed and comfortable through the operation. It's just a little dose, 0 0.5. So don't worry. As a weed guy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you will put this under the tongue. Does it taste like shit? It tastes like shit, ah. yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. So this will be your operation here? And you will be in this room for about six to eight hours. Six to eight hours, okay. It depends, like it can be six, seven or eight. Four mm. Does it hurt? Mm. No, it's like a shock. Yeah. I get you so now this is the part for the needles. Mm -hmm. You can take the mm -hmm. breath as much as you can. Mm -hmm. All right, yo, so it is the next day, the day after my procedure, the day I'm supposed to get my head cleaned. I'm actually waiting on the driver right now. He's kind of lagging it, which is completely fine because I managed to get some breakfast. Like, check this out, dude. This was four dollars. If I were to get that shit back home, it'd at least be like 12. Like, what the hell? This <laughs> is Anyway, so like I said, today I'm supposed to get my head cleaned. Uh, as you guys can see here, it looks pretty fine. And then, you... oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's where the magic is. <laughs> I want to show you guys a little bit more in depth, but I don't want to be dipping my head too much because one, I feel the blood rushing to my head. And two, I, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose a follicle or two. So I'm not gonna risk anything, you know, doing anything stupid like that. But if you want to show you guys all the way around what it looks like, go like that, like that. Oh, I feel it, I feel it. If it didn't turn out too nice on my camera, I'll just do a little 4K view with my phone. That way you guys could see the full look at what my head looks like because dude, I feel it in the back of my head, dude, just right here. <laughs> but the good news is my crown is finally full, dude. They did do a little bit of the mid scalp, which I told them if they could do anything about the mid scalp, make it more dense, please do it. If not, 
minoxidil finasteride should do the job. And they said the exact same thing. They're just like, you know what, focus on the crown. Then we'll do the mid scalp. The doctor I had last time, Dr. Safed, he's no longer there. I think he left for personal reasons. Either way, dude, he's the homie. So if you guys ever see him, if you ever go to a clinic where he's at, tell him I said what's good, dude. He's the homie. I'm telling you, he's the boy. But after my procedure, they gave me a rundown on what I should do, what I should not do. They also gave me this little card here. This is a QR code, tells you all the info. If you guys wanna scan that too, you can. But this is basically all the post-op information you need, what you should do, what you should not do, like bending over from the waist, use your knees, don't hit your head, don't go in direct sunlight, don't go out in the rain, stuff like that, you know? There were some homies asking me, how do I sleep during the hair transplant recovery process? First things first, I'm gonna show you how to put on your little neck pillow. They give you like a little inflatable one, but this one is the one I brought from home. But this one, you just gotta go from the side. Do not go over your head because you're gonna knock off your grafts. You're either gonna start bleeding or you're gonna lose those hairs forever. They never come back. But make sure you go from the side, then you twist it around. And then I'm gonna show you guys from here how I set up the couch and everything. The Airbnb or the apartment I'm at is clutch, bro. It's so close to everything. It's close to the Radisson Hotel. From the location to the setup to everything in here, the little couch thing, so comfortable, dude. So. I didn't have any trouble sleeping last night. I slept probably like about six, seven hours since I got home pretty late and I was eating sushi. <laughs> but uh, basically this is how you sleep during your hair transplant recovery process. Do not hit your head. And uh, this is what it looks like. They also gave me another goodie bag. This was the one that I got last time basically. And this one is a little bit lighter in terms of like what, what's in it. Cause uh, these right here, are the uh, antibiotics, I believe, and these are the painkillers. As you guys see, I ha I had to take one, dude. I don't have weed here, so I, I gotta, you know, soothe the pain somehow, right? <laughs> After they gave me the rundown of the post-operation, they just sent me to the OxyCure Clinic, which is basically this little chamber that gives you oxygen in this mask, and dude, it hurt my head so f***ing much, dude. And I don't mean my transplanted head, I mean just like, my brain, the pressure was just too much for my ears. You know when you go off of like a diving board or something and you land on like your side or you land on your face and that feeling of pressure as well as like your eardrum, that's what it felt like. Or when you're on a plane and like you just gotta do this to equalize the pressure, that's what it felt like. And you had to be in there for 90 minutes, dude. I could only last for 45 without feeling dizzy or like I wanted to throw up. Then again, I did have a lot of anesthetic and I did throw up last time, so uh, that kind of, may have played a part, but either way, I still have a second one today, so I might not be a bitch and handle the, the full 90 minutes, dude. This, dude, I forgot to mention, dude. Yesterday, right before I was getting my teeth cleaned, I got my teeth whitened, as you guys can see there. I needed to be eating something in the cafeteria, so they just gave me food, and they were asking me questions about like, uh, do you have diseases, stuff like that. And out of nowhere, dude, just this dude is like, YouTube. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, dude, no way. And like, he came to shake my hand, dude. That was the first time I've ever been noticed for a video that I've made, dude. In my entire life, I feel like I made it, dude. <laughs> the guy probably heard me talking like an American. He's like, this fool sounds like an idiot. And then he's like, oh, I know who that fool is. <laughs> no, dude, but uh, shout out to that one dude. Uh, he got his hair transplant too, and he, he's gonna look good, dude. So shout out to you, homie. I, I never got your name, but that's pretty much what happened yesterday. Just the hair transplant, my teeth whitening. Oh, and I got my brackets fixed. Let me show you guys. Mm. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a permanent retainer. I've had it since I got my braces off, but since I have wisdom teeth, I have four of them, which is basically why I'm here. The hair transplant was just an extra, you know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm basically here to get my wisdom teeth out, all four of them, but uh, I just wanted to get my bracket fixed so that they become straight again. But I'm glad they fixed the bracket, dude, because once I get the wisdom teeth, the bottom teeth should become straight again. And I don't wanna look like Shark Boy from Shark Boy and Lava Girl anymore, so. <laughs> but honestly, I'm so happy that Vera Clinic has been able to do everything I've asked of them. The only thing I would really like to do is LASIK, but I don't think they do that. Secondly, uh, my eyes are pretty fucked, so I don't think I'm a good candidate for that. But so far, Vera Clinic has, they treated me right and they've done the job right. The dentistry, it, it was great. There was little to no pain. Obviously, you know, I, I hate the dentist, so like my, Mouth is fine. They said after the teeth whitening, I should be sensitive for 24 hours. No, no pain whatsoever. So they've been doing a good job. They've been taking care of me and uh, I'm excited for the next couple days. Saturday is my wisdom teeth operation. So not looking forward to the pain that's coming after it, but I'm excited to finally get these out, bro. They're so annoying. But that's pretty much what happened yesterday. And basically what's gonna happen for the rest of the week, head cleaning, wisdom teeth removal, and 
that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys at the clinic when they're putting the little Bepenthal shampoo on my head. <laughs> All right, peace.